Hey Yogi family, it's Jamie. Today I'd like to introduce you to my family. This is my son Charlie, our dog Molly, and today we have a special flow. Join us on the carpet as we exercise and feel good. Peace. Ooh, baby, ooh. Today I'm joined on the carpet by my son Charlie and our dog Molly for a little family flow. Since we're stuck at home, it's a perfect time to reconnect and exercise together. So join me on the carpet. Close your eyes. Straight spine. Begin by taking some big breaths. Let's see if we can really hear you breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And release. Couple more at your own speed. Open your eyes, put your hands to your heart. And with yoga, we set an intention. And my intention for this class is just to have a little fun and maybe have some laughs and exercise a bit with you. So let's get started, hands on our knees, and let's roll our stomach in a big circle like a coffee grinder. Coffee grinder. Breathe. Feels good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Reverse. Speed it up. And inhale, center. Now let's do big head rolls with our neck. As we breathe, getting all the little kinks out. We've been on our devices and phones the last two weeks. It feels good to, to work this area. And come back to center. Let's shoot our feet out straight together and have our hands down at our sides, kind of shoulders down if you can, maybe feet together. First, let's flex our feet and then point. Flex and point. So there's that stupid long toe that you always make fun of. <laughs> and you got a big, you got the big first toe, I got the big second one. Our feet are not the cutest. We don't really have a, a cute family of feet, do we? <laughs> Shake your knees. <laughs> Okay, take your right knee and foot and rock it in your arm. This is like rock the baby. When I used to rock you. <laughs> rock the baby. Now you're not a baby, you're a teenager. Okay, let's drop that foot. We take the left arm and wrap it around and place the right one behind. Sit up straight. Couple deep breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Straighten both legs out. I can hear Molly in the background breathing too. Are you breathing? Yeah, you stay there. Good girl. Okay, let's take that left knee and rock the baby. It's Charlie's birthday this week, so we're trying to do a lot of special things at home because we can't have the traditional party or go to the jump park like we wanted to, but trying. Okay, drop that foot down, Charlie, on the side. Grab your knee with your elbow and look back with your left. Breathe here. And release straight again. This time, raise your hands up to the sky. Bend your knees a little bit as you Bend forward, let your head drop, and feel the stretch in your back. Breathe here. What's your favorite thing about being in quarantine? Video games. Video games? Mm -hmm. Okay, come up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Hands up once again, up. One more time, over. 
Maybe your legs are straighter this time. Breathe. And come up slowly. Vertebrae, vertebrae, shoulders back. Roll it. Three, two, one. Take your feet, shoot them behind you. Meet me in an all fours position. So our hands are right underneath our shoulders. Perfect. Knees are lined up. Awesome job. And this is cat and cow, which is fun for kids. So a cow is when you look up and you shake your tail like you had a big cow tail. And then when you exhale, you curve your back and you hunch it like a big black cat. So go between these two moves, cat and cow, excuse me. And then cat, keep going. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, move. <laughs> you don't want to say it. Exhale, cat. Meow. Do it with me. Ready? Move. Meow. One more. Move. And meow. I know I'm embarrassing you. I appreciate you doing this, honey. Okay, put your fingers wide. Flip your toes under behind you. And let's shoot ourselves back up to our first downward dog. So maybe your feet a little bit farther apart, good. Only gonna be in one downward dog today. So let's make it a good one. Pedal out your feet. One foot at a time, pedal, pedal. Five, four, three, two, one. Take your hands and see if you can walk. Bend your knees and see if you can walk up to a standing. Ready, walk up, walk up. And roll your shoulders back. Good. Let's step up a little bit. Get ready for our cool flow. So hands are at the heart. We inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, prayer hands right to the middle of the heart and you come down and fold over. Bend your knees. If it's hard to reach it down, so bend them a little bit. Yeah, good. Stay here and take a couple deep breaths. Grab each elbow and sway side to side. This is called ragdoll. Good job. Place your hands back down to the mat or carpet. Inhale, halfway lift. So it looks like the number seven here. See my back is straight. My head is shooting forward. Looks like the number seven, flat back. Like I could have blood shear on your back. Good job. Release it again. Bend your knees a little bit. Good job. Raise your hands up to the sky. Inhale. And hands to heart. Okay, let's add on. You want to step out just a little bit so we have room to... There you go, honey bun. Okay. Inhale, hands sweep up. Exhale all the way forward down to the ground. This time, step our right foot back. Step your right foot back only and drop that knee to the ground. Come up in a nice... Sturdy posture, breathe here. Inhale, hands up. Take your left hand and go back towards the mirror. There you go. Both arms extended, try to twist and breathe here. Good job. Hands come up, back up to the top. And exhale, other side. I need to scoot up a tad here. Okay. Breathe. Hands come back up to the sky. Hands to heart. And we're going to take our right elbow and we're going to place it over our knee, having our hands in prayer and trying to hold this twist position. Checking out your cool hair in the mirror. <laughs> He's going to grow out his hair during quarantine. Be a, a hippie boy. Pretty cool. Breathe. Exhale, place your hands on either side of your foot and watch me as we push our leg out straight. Straight as we can, that left foot. Flex it, it's kind of like a half split. Good. Let your head hang heavy over. Even if you want to just put your hands up here, that'd be a good, good modification. Breathe here. Half splits. 
one day if you keep practicing this, then you can try to get deeper into splits. I can't do splits yet. Bend your knee in the front, put your foot flat down, hands to the belly, put your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, stick out your chest, and exhale as you come forward, trying to put your chest onto your knee. Hold here and breathe. People think, you know, yoga is maybe just kind of easy or soft, but a lot of these moves are pretty hard. It takes balance, it takes concentration. So for kids to do these, it's pretty awesome to try. It's good for kids that do sports. Place your hand down on either side, hook that back toe under, and then you try to come up forward. So both feet are together. Inhale, halfway lift like a seven. Release down, and hands roll up, and hands to heart. Ready to try that on the other side? Okay, hands up. Exhale, release all the way down. Bend your knees if you need to. Number seven on the inhale. Exhale, hands down. This time we are going to take our left foot back, place the knee down, carefully come in, into a strong kneeling pose. Breathe here. It's kind of cool because right out our window, there is a fishing boat going by with a family. It's a beautiful day here. We're inside doing yoga, but we're gonna go outside later and go in the woods and have some fun. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, take that right hand back this time. Twist it and hold. Good posture, couple deep breaths. Hands come back up to the top. Try to twist the other way, breathe. Hands back up to the top, hands to your heart. Keep those hands in prayer position as you take that left elbow and try to twist to this side. It's easier if you press your hands together and press that elbow into your knee to stabilize yourself. Breathe. Place your hands down on either side of your foot, and let's shoot it back. This time our right leg extended, straight. You could be up here like you did before, or down for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Breathe here. Come onto that foot safely. Come up into this strong pose. Place your hands behind your back, extend them straight, inhale tall, exhale fold over, chest onto the knee, breathe here. Place your hands down, hook that toe behind you, and rock up. Inhale, number seven, exhale release down. And let's come all the way up together, hands go overhead, and hands to heart. Okay, let's spread apart a little bit more again. And let's do some cool balancing poses like the tree pose. So all your weight goes on your left foot as you take your right foot. It can be here on the ground with your toes still on the carpet, or it could be up here a little higher. Or if you wanna try for even higher, you can go on your thigh. And breathe here, tree pose. Hands up. And you can hold on to my, like, just hold it to there. Together. Yay. And release. Shake those legs out. Let's try it on the other side, tree pose. Doesn't matter where you are. This is still very challenging and really cool move. Or you can go up here and try to balance. Look at something that's not moving in the distance. Hands up, balance, hold as a family, family tree, <laughs> family tree. 
and release. Hands to the heart. This is kind of a cool pose that I think kids and teens will like. Airplane pose. You shoot your right foot back, your hands come back, and you just try to hover or float. Even if your foot is just tapped on the ground, cool, or up a little higher. Try to fly, airplane pose. And release. Good job. Let's try the other side. Left foot shoots back. Airplane pose. I'm not very stable on this side today. Cool. Hands to heart. Arms shoot up. Exhale, release down. Keep your hands down. Now bend your knees and come into a little yogi squat for fun. See if you can get your toes and ankles together and then have your hands up into a prayer. Kind of fun, you can stretch out your feet. Woo! And boom, you're right, go right back down. Let's open our legs into like a little diamond here. Cool. Hands in the middle and you pull me in first. And I will take some deep breaths while you pull me in for a deeper stretch. Okay, I'm gonna pull you in a little bit. I wish that I would have learned yoga when I was this age. It would have helped me with a lot of things throughout life. So hopefully your children and your teenagers will get some benefit of it as well. Okay, side to side, keep going. Boom, boom. Ugh. Couple more. Okay, release. Let's both reach towards the top foot. Stretch. Breathe. These ugly toes of ours. <laughs> Other side. Come to center. Let's put our hands behind our back, feet up, and do a little bicycle. We've been biking a lot. It's been fun. Feel like you have the whole town to yourself. Bike, bike, bike. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring your knees in. Again, let's end how we began in a little coffee grinder. And reverse. Okay, you can lay down in your final relaxation. So lay down like you're laying in bed for the night. Close your eyes. And I'll do a little meditation for families, for teens. Take some deep breaths. Know that you are safe at home. You have people that love you. You are doing the best you can, regardless if it's schoolwork or seeing your friends on the phone or through the computer. Everything's gonna be all right. We're gonna take this time to get to know ourselves better, to do things we enjoy, and to not worry about things so much. There is no schedule, there's no timeline. And we're just gonna let go and have fun. Couple deep breaths. Know that you are loved and protected and you are perfect just the way you are. Open your eyes and roll over to one side. You can come up back into the seated position like this, honey. Come back up. Hands on our knees, ending with a couple deep breaths together. Hands to the heart, open your eyes. In yoga, we end with a saying called Namaste. And that means the love and light inside of me sees and loves the light inside of you. So, I love you. Love you too. Namaste. Namaste. That's it, you did it. I got my ooze in my pocket. 
I got my ooze in my pocket. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to take them out and say, ooh, baby, ooh.